Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome for the first time ever to my new car. So Scott and I got this car two weeks ago. We weren't ac actually looking for this car. I had never even heard of this car, but we found it when we were looking at Tahoe's and fell in love with it. So I'm gonna show you what the inside looks like and all of my favorite features. I wanted to kind of wait to film it for a little bit to kind of get to know the car, but now I love it more than two weeks ago when I bought it. It is the 2019 Chevy Traverse. It is the RS trim level, which stands for Rally Sport. And so you'll see the outside, but it's all black. And it has the black like tires or rims, whatever, whichever it's called, the tires and wheels, which is something that I was looking for. I really like that. And the only thing I was really needing or wanting was a third row and so this car has it but I'm gonna start up here at the front and so first of all it's a push to start so let me turn it on for you okay so the car is on now this is the steering wheel all the other Chevy logos are all black except the one on the steering wheel is gold so over on the left side we have the cruise control and on the right side we have to answer calls in calls and to select so this selection thing i think it works with the radio as well but mainly it changes the display so like the trip and the oil life all that kind of stuff i keep it on the speed because it gives you a digital speedometer and on the right side usually um on like a popular road it'll tell you the speed limit and then you can see it has all the other basic stuff it also on the left you can see it says auto stop so it does that anytime we go to like a stop sign and or a red light and it's supposed to save gas so over here we have kind of the light switch panel this is for the headlights, which I just keep on auto. This is for the fog lights. And this controls like the inside control panel or display panel. And so it like pops out once you push it and you can like brighten it. I like to keep it um, kind of dimmed at night though because it hurts my eyeballs. Then over here we have the trunk opener. You can see that you can change it to maximum height or if you're like in a parking garage or something and you're, it won't, it'll hit if it goes all the way up, you can do it three fourths of the way so it doesn't rise all the way. And if you push it, it just opens up. And then over here is just your locks that controls your, uh, your side mirrors and everything like that. It has little nooks and crannies for whatever you want to put in there. Then we'll make our way over here. This is what the display looks like. You see you can have, this is like the main one that I keep on, which is audio. And you can see those are my presets. You can also turn it to phone. You can see it has mine or Scott's that we can connect to through Bluetooth. It has navigation. I believe you have to pay for that through OnStar. And so we have like a free 30 day subscription thing, but um, that'll probably go away whenever we don't pay for it. It also has cameras. This is one of my favorite features. So you can see it has the forward camera, the 360 view, bird's eye, whatever camera. And then if I put it into reverse, oh, there you go. You can see the backup camera with the guide that is very helpful for me. Today was the first day that I actually reversed into a parking spot all by myself, just with that. It was fantastic. But then you hit the home button. And so you can go to audio, phone, projection. This is Apple CarPlay. If I plug my phone in, there's like a USB spot. When I plug it in, it just shows whatever I'm doing on my phone. And it shows the weather and text messages. So this is the first page, and if you go to the second page, there's rear climate that we can control, the cameras again, traffic, and apps. And I think this again is part of the OnStar subscription, but you can download apps to the car as well. But I just keep it on audio. Then here's the home button, which as you can see, just takes you back to there. This is to skip and go to different channels and stations. This is the volume. There's also back here, there's two back here and two on this side. Two little buttons, which I really like, so you can control. This one over on the right side is volume, and on the left side is to change the station. So I don't really use these in the middle. And then this is one of the really cool features. So you hold it down, and 
the display goes up you can see there's like another usb port in there but you can see you can put like a wallet your sunglasses a gun whatever you need to put in there and then you close it back and it's hidden away there's also when you go to settings you can set a passcode and it's basically like a safe where you type the passcode in and you can you, even if you push this button you have to, if you don't put the code in you can't get inside so that's really handy and then down here we have the dual ac and you just decide if you want it to go to your face or your feet or all around the car whatever you want and so you can have it on sync where it's the same or the passenger can do their own thing and then there's two usb right here this is like a lighter outlet and then there's space right here for whatever you want and then there's space right here where i keep like listerine chapstick anything like that this is the gear shift and the emergency parking brake and this is the traction control and the winter driving mode but right now i just have it on normal and then there's two cup holders okay and this is the passenger seat there's also heated seats i forgot to mention that up here and you can like control how hot you want your buns to get but yeah you can see it's black leather and has kind of like a tan or orangey trim but over here there's just little storage compartments as well nothing too fancy and this is the big armrest where it has this little tray that comes out and then you can put all your napkins and whatever you need down there I have extra sunglasses it's big and all of it's nice and leather up here we have pretty basic those both of those but you have the garage controls where you can do three, three different settings, the lights, the on star button. You can turn off the feature where the lights come on when you open the doors. So another really cool feature is the rear view mirror. Right now it's just on its normal, you know, reflection mode. But if you take this switch and flip it, it connects to the backup camera and you can see through there. So this will be really good if there's people in the third row or if you have something really big back there, a bunch of luggage, something like that it's your view is not obstructed by them so now i'm going to go into the second row and the third row so we're in the second row and that this is where they can control their own air their own temperature it has two hdmis so if anybody needs to charge their phone or tablet it also has like a normal plug-in if you need to straighten your hair or plug something in that's awesome and you can see it just has the lights so the vents are up here it has this, the cup holder and other kind of storage things. I really like these for like chapstick or really whatever you need. And I love, I think these are called bench seats, captain seats. Both of them have armrest. Everything's leather. But I just love having this walkway. It makes for a lot of space. And we got these a few days after. These are Chevy. We just got them from another dealership that was closer to our house. But it's just the, like all the weather tech type ones but i like that it covers the walkway and then back here i'm not going to get all the way back here but you can see pretty basic you know third row with cup holders and each side has hdmi ports as well which is really nice but now i'll go to the trunk oh one other thing that i didn't know even was a thing you just have to push this to open it and look there's not even a gas cap or anything i love that i didn't know that was an option Okay, so I'm going to open this. Okay, so this is the trunk space that you have initially. You can also lift up this mat. And there's even more space where I have like jumper cables and bungee cords. But I mean, you could put groceries or valuables, whatever you wanted to in there. And the seats are really easy to fold. You just pull that and they go down. And to bring it back up, you just have to pull it. Again, I was just telling you about these mats that we got. We got the ones that cover the back, so that's really nice. We've already fit a coffee table and some end tables in the back of this, so we love it. And those fold down as well. So when we got that coffee table, we folded the second row back and we had all kinds of space. So you could probably put like a queen size mattress in here if you wanted to, it fits so much stuff. And then to close it, you just hit this button up here and it closes 
So I've shown you the whole car. Again, we got it about two weeks ago and we love it. Scott is 6'4", and he fits in the first row and the second row. I don't think we've tried him in the third row, but realistically, he won't ever be in the third row. But he has plenty of space loves to drive it i love to drive it too i came from driving a nissan cube which is basically a golf cart and so i was worried how i'd feel this feels it looks like a bus compared to the cube but it drives so easy it has i didn't mention this but like the automatic seat controls where you can go forward backward up down and it has the lumbar support but that's going to be it for the video if you have any questions about the car feel free to comment below i'm thinking about doing a video kind of based on how we got the car as far as saving how we like the strategies we use to save money and the down payment and what happened at the dealership stuff like that and how we plan to pay the car off in a short period of time but that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching i hope you liked it and i'll see you later bye